Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld. We are finally back on our feet and I'm really excited because Minyaka is pregnant again so we'll have another shot at raising a child in this colony, this harsh harsh colony. Hopefully our second child will fare a little better than the first two. Um, we're gonna do all in our power to keep them safe from harm but you know ultimately there are some things that are just out of our control but you know things should be okay hopefully um let's see how long how much longer do we have these debuffs for yeah about 15 ish more days for Minyaka and Tronka so Minyaka is probably going to continue experiencing regular mental breaks over and over throughout this episode but Tronka is doing okay because um, Minyaka did a good job giving him a nice therapy session. Um, one thing Minyaka can do is she can preach health to Olga who is currently recovering from a nasty incident with some squirrels. There you go. So now he should heal faster. Immunity gain speed plus 25%, injury healing factor plus 25%, perfect. Oh, that's interesting to know. That Preach Health gives immunity gain speed plus 25%. So if anybody gets an infection, we'll send Minyaka over. Um, and that can really, really, really help with the infection. Okay. Or if we have, say, a sick birth, like a sickly child at childbirth, Minyaka can preach health to her, her child. Okay. So, what do we have on the docket to do for today? We made some big expansions, right? We have a, like a new like classroom, library, study room over here, uh, which is clearing more space for us to make a true dining room here. We can put some tables and uh, maybe some thrones eventually. Um, we haven't put any thrones yet because obviously that's going to be for when we actually have some royalty in the colony. We haven't actually taken on any quests that bestow honor, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think any of our any of our any of our colonists have <coughs> have any royal titles. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. It's summer, so it's going to be winter before we know it. Uh, we are, you know, keeping on top of food this year. I don't think we're going to be starving so much in the winter, especially because we don't have a bunch of extra mouths to feed like like we did last winter. Um, I am a little bit concerned about research. I know we have um, Olga, who's pretty much just focusing on hauling, cleaning, and research. So Olga should hypothetically be doing a lot of research, but I think in practice Olga has a lot of hauling and cleaning to do, um, which is fine. If we've made it this many winters without, you know, winter apparel, we can make it one more. But really, we we only need like. 53 more research points to go until we unlock uh, winter clothes. So Olga will find the spare time, I'm sure. All right, so it's morning and Olga has completely healed, which is fantastic. So I think we're going to begin work on our dining room. Now, first things first, so I don't actually like these columns being where they are, uh, right in the center. I think I prefer to have the columns sitting off center a little bit throughout the room so we can have a kind of central kind of walkway leading up to the throne. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct these pillars. Perfect. And we can plan our tables around these, um, these columns as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to build a bunch of one by two tables and I think hmm, if we move the columns just a little bit in we can yeah I think we can fit one two three in a row so I think we're going to do that so we're going to build a copy right here I know we're expending a lot of wood here okay perfect so now I should be able to build two rows of tables, kind of like this. Um, we could almost have him in a U configuration, 
That might be kind of nice. Issue with that is we have an aisle way of three. And I don't think tables come, tables like to come in uh, even, even lengths. That's fine, except for this big three by three table that's kind of ugly. We'll just have this be like a kind of central passageway um, going up. Once we research, what is it, carpet making, we can create like a nice like royal red rug kind of leading up to the thrones here. This is bothering me that this is not centered. I'm sorry if you guys caught that way earlier when I first moved it and it's been bothering you or something, but um, we now have a bunch of tables. Um, we can of course replace the tables with, you know, like nicer um, stone versions of them, but for now wood will do. And we can add a bunch of chairs in. And now we have a much nicer looking dining room. I'm considering so either we could have like a central kind of passageway leading up, kind of like central like carpet leading up to the thrones here, or we can have the tables a little closer together and have like a, like a big fire pit in the middle so we can put like a bunch of fireplaces. Um, haven't decided which one I like better right now, but we're gonna leave it with just like a random campfire in the middle of the room for now um, because, well, that's gonna be the easiest way to heat up the room in the winter. But now that we have a big kind of gathering space, this will be a little bit nicer for when we have rituals to hold in this room. Um, it'll definitely be a lot nicer. We could also build a chapel at some point. I like the idea of the chapel being like an offshoot right next to the throne room. So like maybe we have the chapel kind of like a little hallway here that leads into the chapel back here. That might be a nice place for it. Or we could have the chapel just kind of offshoot on the side. That could, this could also be a nice place for it. We want to make it big and grand looking, whatever we decide on. Now, that might have let us dry for wood. I think it did. Yes, it did. Of course, we still have outstanding orders for chopping wood, so we don't need to go ahead and give any new orders for chopping wood. We'll have, um, Tronka and, was it Tronka and Jay who are our two farmers? Yeah, Tronka and Jay are our two farmers. They'll get on it eventually. Looks like Jay's also prioritizing construction. That's fine for now. I don't mind that. I don't hate it at all. Alright, Minyaka's, Minyaka's at our last at her last draw here. Her mood is basically zero. How long does this council by Minyaka last? 12 days. Okay. So we don't really need to ever redo it. Tronka is going to have this last basically until he gets over it. So we can save Minyaka's powers for other needs. This preach health thing seems really cool. We can also convert prisoners more quickly using the convert power, so we'll try that out sometime. Looks like there are some berry bushes we can harvest. And we can probably deconstruct all this thing. Um, I'm actually going to dismantle or uh, uninstall this table instead of deconstruct it because it's a normal granite table that's a kind of nice thing for us at the moment we I don't even think we've unlocked stone working yet have we no we haven't even unlocked stone cutting yet so um, our options for that are kind of limited we'll go ahead and put our ritual spot here at a more central place in the room perfect <laughs> Some, something's going crazy here. I think it's Minyaka like, on the verge of having a mental breakdown, but not quite there yet. Alright. You've detected a hunting worksite controlled. Oh, I did not mean to open up the world map there. I just wanted to click on it for some reason. My instincts just told me I need to click on it. Um, 
good. I'm not really for going and raiding a bunch of places unless there's something I really know I want. Like a hunting worksite, not really necessary. Logging worksite, not really necessary. We can get all those resources from home. Ancient complex though, we might go visit sometime. Um, good to know that that's right there. I don't think those expire at any time, so the ancient complex will be there for as long as the game exists. Olga is back at researching. Fantastic. I think... Oh my gosh. If Olga just, you know, remains focused for the remainder of the day, we'll get this done. Now, do we have a tailoring place set up? Who is going to be our tailor? Well, our current um, crafting person, skill of one, skill of four, skill of one, skill of seven, and a minor passion. It's going to be Olga. So is this Olga's room back here? We can create a little like um, workshop studio area maybe attached to his house. It might be cool to kind of have the workstations um, connected to the people's houses. His house looks a little small at the moment. Wonder if we could increase the size of his house just a little bit. Um, one of my long-term goals <coughs> is to uh, research finish complex clothing. Taylor completed uh, garments like pants, dusters, and cowboy hats. Okay, research screen. Our next priority is... It's gotta be stone cutting. So we stop having such a flammable base. Also, wood is just like in such high demand right now because we use it for construction and for keeping all of our rooms lighted and for heating our place in the winter and for cooling our place in the summer. We need wood for just about everything. It'll be better if we can use stones for construction, reserve wood just for light and heating and cooling. So we're not constantly running out of wood. Uh, it looks like we need some more wood floors here, speaking of. Okay, um, what was I saying? I was saying uh, another long-term goal of mine is uh, reworking these houses to make them feel more like houses and less like studio bedrooms. Um, I know that for the game, it doesn't really care. Like your colonists don't really care if they have a house or if they just have like one bedrooms like in the middle of nowhere. But I like the idea of having houses. Like, I tried to create that kind of feeling here with like two rooms in one building with the children's bedroom connected to the parents' bedroom. But we could even take this level further and have like a kitchen and an eating area. Um, just like we could have one of these field stoves in there. Not for using, not for function, just like for looks. And we could have like a dining area next to the kitchen. We could have like a living room area. And make these houses a lot bigger and more kind of realistic and sensible almost. Looks like there's a tribute collector. Unfortunately, we don't really have any tribute to give these guys, so we're just going to ignore them for the time being. I wonder if we can build any, like, um, braziers in here. I don't think uh, we've researched whatever we need to uh, build them yet. But those will make our throne room look real nice and spiffy. That might be a winter project, actually. A good winter project is redesigning everyone's house. We can um, probably some cl sometime close to the beginning of winter put the game on pause and just like draft up new blueprints for like where all these homes are going to go and how they're going to look. Um, I like to add like work specific. Um, places onto other people's houses so for example like our our tailor can have like a little tailoring studio and, a, and an armory attached to their house or you know our cook can either be situated near the near the fridge or actually like kind of incorporated into this building you know uh, our farmers alongside the farms uh, stuff like that I think just goes a long way to making this making this colony feel a little bit less like a prison. <laughs> I see another place where we forgot to put wooden floor. Here's floor. Right there. 
says we don't have enough wood stored. That's because we are really behind on chopping trees. Of course, Jay is getting to it slowly but surely. I think uh, Tronka is also getting to it slowly but surely. Okay, so we do need to get tailoring online. So before we can build any fancy new um, house designs, I think we just start with a little um, a little studio here um, on the side of Olga's house. We can create an entrance here. We can create a secondary entrance here. And what do we need to build in terms of production? A hand tailoring bench. Perfect. This will fit nice and snug right in here. Um, and that'll do for now. We're going to redesign this all eventually anyways. Um, we'll put a little chair for working there. And we might include some shelves as well. I don't think we use enough shelves. We're kind of just dropping everything on the floor here. But some shelves could like really tidy up our, our pantry and our storage uh, space. I know our original idea was to... Um, our original idea was to kind of have the production areas off the storage space, but I think we're gonna nix that idea now because we got a better idea. So for some reason, Jay has been in a consistently poor mood. Slept in the cold, hungry, rebuffed by Minyaka. Okay, this rebuffed by Minyaka is something we can't do anything about, but it's a minus 10, which is really, it's not insignificant, not at all. Um, I don't know if he'll just decide to give up on pursuing Minyaka eventually. I mean, like, Minyaka's married, right? They did get married. Yeah, okay, good. They did get married, so I don't know what Jay is thinking and what's going to get him to stop. Huh, some rare thrombos are coming to visit. If we had maybe three more colonists and some better weapons, we might consider taking one of them out, but for the time being, we're just going to leave them be and appreciate them and all of their um, beautiful elegance. All right, now that Olga's workshop has been built, we can add some bills here. And I think our first bills are going to be making parkas. Or maybe we want to make ropes. Let's view rope. Um, and let's see, insulation from cold for robes is 14.4 degrees uh, Celsius. Let's compare that to the insulation from parkas because robes might be good enough. And I honestly think robes look a little better than parkas, in my opinion. Uh, parka, 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 where are you? Right here. View parka. Okay, so parkas have more than twice the amount of insulation as a rope, but ropes might cut it. We're going to build ropes for everybody, and if they prove to not be enough, that's no biggie. I mean, we have a bunch of alpaca wool in reserves, and we can always get more. So we can always go and build parkas if we decide that the ropes aren't working for us. But um, let's go ahead and build ropes, and let's do four of these. And we want to use our warmest material, which is wools, alpaca wool. We're going to build four robes for our colonists using alpaca, roll, uh, alpaca wool, not alpaca roll. And maybe we will, some kind of headwear might be good as well to keep us warm. I'm trying to see something that might look good, like the broad wraps might look good with the robes, kind of like a hooded robe look. Yeah. I think the other thing that I'm thinking might look good with the tribal colony are tail caps. But I don't know where do we get that option because I don't see that in the list. I'm playing another game. Oh, they're right here, right in front of me. And as far as making tail caps, um, let's not make them out of anything boring like camel hide or light leather or plain leather. You can make them out of like bear skin and wolf skin and other things like that. Um, 
yeah, we'll, we'll very specifically, like you can make it out of cat fur, um, not dog fur, heavy fur, guinea pig fur, fox fur, elephant leather, no, dog leather, no, chinchilla fur, sure, blue fur, bird skin, no. Um, really, we just want to make them out of like really warm kind of pelts. I know um, <laughs> it probably doesn't really matter all that much what it's actually made out of, but there's a lot of this game where you can just do things because <laughs> it feels right, not because it's necessarily maximizing the game. I don't always like to play games to maximize. I have a tendency to do it, um, so I, I oftentimes find myself having to intentionally think about it and check myself and force myself to not play games in such a min-maxi way. And hey, would you look at that? We've got our first colonist wearing a robe and it is Jay and he looks great in it. Um, maybe we can grow some of that um, dye in one of our fields um, for a season, especially once we have like plenty of medicine um, stocked up. Uh, probably next year, we'll probably have enough medicine to last us the year. We can grow uh, dye here instead and we can dye the robes a nice color. Shamblers are approaching. Okay. We've got four zombies here. Let me just check the rest of the map, making sure they're not coming from any other angles of, a, of attack. Okay, four zombies. Nothing we can't handle. To arms. Let's get ready. We're going to need some good shooting, boys and girl. We need to get our gender ratio... Uh, better for this colony. Oh, the shamblers are kind of... The shamblers are kind of all over the place. They're not approaching the colony as much as I thought they would be. Um, let's move in Tronka a little bit and let's move in Minyaka a little bit as well. Okay, so now I need my three um, archers to be targeting this little guy. And Minyaka's gonna need to run in. This could be, this could go badly for us. This could go very poorly for us. Um, maybe Minyaka... Okay, targets one of these guys. Let's have Olga and Jay target this guy on the outside here. Did Tronka just get... Oh my gosh, I think Tronka just got attacked by one of the bows. Um, Tronka, I hope you are appropriately meleeing these zombies. Okay, Olga and Jay, I need you guys to melee attack this zombie on the floor here. Okay, I need you to attack this zombie on the floor here, and there we go. Problem averted. Anything new? Is this right, uh, right big toe cut off? Is this anything new? I hope not. I don't remember if that's an ongoing thing or if that's uh, just a brand new injury. Um, regardless, just a couple of scratches, nothing too bad. And here, we just have a couple of scratches and bites, nothing too bad. Let's get everyone back to safety. We're going to leave these corpses out here. They can just decompose. That's going to be probably the best course of action. They're zombie corpses after all. They're already half decomposed already. If you look at that, yeah. Already has 11 out of 100, um, so they'll be gone in a matter of days. Who's assigned to doctoring? Okay, Jay is, and Jay's already on it. Perfect. Now, of course, since Minyaka's in pain from the attack, she's at risk of having a big um, mental break as well. Nothing we can do about it, but what we should do with Minyaka is have her preach health to Tranka. So he can feel, heal up faster. Fantastic. Okay, yep. Hopefully he should heal up much faster. 
So one thing I am curious is, now that Jay is wearing a robe, if I go into the stats, max comfortable temperature, min comfortable temperature is negative one Fahrenheit. Okay, so Jay can be comfortable all the way down to negative one degrees Fahrenheit, just wearing, um, just wearing a good alpaca wool robe. So if we get everybody wearing in a pack of world, we should be good for probably all but the most bitter days of winter. Who's gonna claim the second row? Looks like nobody has laid, laid claim to it yet. It's just a normal row. If we go to assign apparel policies, right now we have everyone assigned to summer. What's actually in summer? Summer says they are allowed to wear button-down shirts, dusters, kids can wear pants, shirts, or tribal wear. They can wear robes in the summer. I think this will just be year-round. I think this will just be called tribal. And we'll just have them wear robes year-round. Um, I think as far as this goes, we're okay with them wearing all of these things, yeah. Um, so we're going to have all of them set to wear robes. What we don't want them to wear for tribal is we don't want them to wear parkas. Okay, they're already assigned to not wear parkas, so Olga should drop his parkas sometime soon. And once we get um, maybe some cotton growing next summer, we can make some nice uh, button-down shirts for everybody. Okay, Jay and Olga, both robed up. So what we're gonna eventually wanna do when we make plans for Olga's kind of house and workshop is also have like a storage room. We wanna have like um, individual smaller storage rooms for like specialized um, resources. So for example, we can have all of our textiles and leathers in a storeroom right next to Olga's workshop. Um, we could even probably have an armory as a separate storage room also connected to Olga's workshop. I think if we don't have a bunch of other things to be worried about during the winter months, we will focus on construction and we will um, we will reorganize all of these um, rooms into kind of more sensible looking houses. Um, and we can consider getting a wall up around some of this stuff. Uh, I kind of wish I had built this barn a little farther away because I don't think we need to necessarily enclose our barn inside our walled colony. I mean, it, it might be targeted by raiders. I don't think this game kind of distinguishes important stuff from non-important stuff, so I feel like raiders might still try to light the barn on fire, so maybe it does need to be enclosed in walls. Now walls are going to be a very expensive project and we're probably going to want to build them out of stone to make them more resilient, so that might be a more distant pro uh, project. We could build up some barricades in the meantime for a little bit of better defense. Minyak is bored apparently. Well, isn't that a nice problem to have? We have some visitors to the colony. And there is a new temporary, uh, not temporary quest, there's a new quest called Temporary Workers. Hi Stellark, Petronia, Ducir, oh my gosh, I don't know how to pronounce, I'm just going to call her Hi Stellark Petronia. Of the Empire of God needs extra hands to help her gather the harvest. She's asking you to lend her one colonist, 13 years old or older, for five days. And for that, we have an option of plus four honor. A colonist named Becker. What's the deal with Becker? Okay, uh, she's 18 years old. She follows a different ideologian. She's nervous, which means she'll have mental breaks more often. She's psychically deaf, which means um, she's immune to psychic powers, but she probably also can't cast psychic powers, I would guess. And she's pretty much just good at cooking and growing. And not much else. Okay, definitely not worth taking her on. She really doesn't have a lot of potential. And plus four honor. I think I'd rather just keep all of my colonists here for the time being. 
All right, so right as I was just about to get ready to end the episode, Minyaka went into a berserk. Um, she will attack anyone she sees. Oh my gosh, and that right now means Olga. <sighs> Guess we all need to attack Minyaka. I wish he wasn't wearing this weapon here now. Olga, I mean, Minyaka, if you kill Olga, I'm gonna be so upset with you. Oh my gosh, Olga is like down on the ground. Minyaka's not dead, is she? I saw the X and I was got really worried. No, she's she's not dead. <sighs> Hopefully her her baby didn't get injured in that in that altercation. All right, everyone, back to business. You can rescue Minyaka, bring her back to her um, bedroom. Jay, I don't know where you're going. Can you please rescue Olga? You're not off the hook, man. I know we all had a long and trying day, but you need to get Olga to safety. Um, and on this exciting note, we're going to end the episode. We're coming into winter fast. I think by the end of next episode, winter will have begun. We can start with a more heavy focus on research and uh, remodeling. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys then. Bye.